Okay, I am gonna switch my camera into the painting and here I am. Hi. Let's just get started. Um, like as always, we'll do a drawing first. So again, let's block out our basic shape here, okay? So I'm just gonna do like a really quick shape for, for the lion here. So the lion, I'm just gonna do like a circle here for the head and like an oval for the body and the leg comes out like this, okay? And it's sitting on the stone surface, something. There's a perspective there. I'm not gonna get into that yet. Okay, right now, all I'm going to focus is to just get the composition going. Before you get into drawing, study the photo a little bit. I already did my study today before the live stream. So, here we go. And then well, we got this side huge column here. Just going to block that shape in for now. Okay, again, I'm not going to do any really precise drawing just yet okay big column right now background here just a bunch of building this looks really complex but as always we will simplify it a lot as much as we can okay the buildings on the, the building on the right here okay something like this so there's a street there so there's some cars, there's some peoples, but now we really need to watch the scale of the people. So really, really study, look at the photo. How big is the people compared to the lion, compared to the stone platform they are sitting on? Trafalgar Square, okay. I have a real problem reading. Okay, so let's start to get a little bit more uh, a little bit more certain with our line work here. So this building here again, let's just try to draw loose, but at the same time, give enough care. There's a little bit of curvature here, so I'm just going to eyeball this. So the window's a little bit thinner here, but as it turns course as that's facing us it gets a little bit wider here so here we have that so you try not to lift your pencil too much when you are doing drawing okay try to have some confident line work and if you do want to slow down and articulate it a little bit be a little bit more organic about it it's, I think it's a good habit to have so when you're painting, you're not as rigid as well. Now onto the background. I'm really gonna go loose with these. Okay, there's a couple stuff with a dome and a little thingy on top of the dome. I don't know all the architectural term of all that, so I'm just gonna call it thingy. <laughs> okay, another dome here. And uh, and this was a pointy top. Looks like a wizard's hat or something like that. These shapes right here, those are what's going to make this looks interesting. Okay, and of course, when I'm starting to paint, I will try to articulate a little bit more. Here's a flag here. Let's just say that's our vanishing point here so we will have another line goes here another line goes here okay now this line will be useful for me a little bit later as I'm trying to do some architectural details suggestions things like that okay have it roughly go into perspective as well though. It is still following the same perspective now. So again, as long as we are somewhat accurate, we are we are in business. Okay, we are not doing an architectural drawing. But all we want to do is to be mindful 
of the pers of the perspective and the structure okay now the lion here so again the lion's head okay now this is not a painting of a lion so just roughly okay lion's brow this structure out to his nose his mouth I am doing this relatively fast but notice I am drawing the structure of the sculpture okay. so that's his, his muzzle here and then this leg coming out skyline shape looks too high to me yeah I think it is higher than the reference I might change it I might not depends on how it looks in my painting though okay okay so there's a lion right there and behind that we have another one this lion facing away from us okay so we just see a little bit of the profile and then this it's a little bit high okay so I will make it just a little bit shorter all right so let's draw a little bit of figures here there's actually two people the one wearing blue and his partner wearing like a burgundy color I think that's actually kind of nice I think I'll, I'll take that move them a little bit forward actually and uh, his partner next to him a little bit shorter he's a slightly turning so that's his face, the front of his face, and uh, his shoulder here. Sounds like I give it a little bit of the the structure suggestion and stuff. Okay. All right. So there's cloud in the sky, but I am not going to do it because it's already a really complicated thing. I'm not going to give myself that headache. Okay. Keep the sky simple okay a little bit lighter actually we actually want it to be quite light contrary to the sky and the contrary to the sky and the photo actually i'm just gonna like do this I'm just gonna keep things simple i'm not even trying to worry about leaving highlights and stuff this okay now let's starting to turn things a little bit warmer so a little bit burnt sienna yellow ochre okay so a little bit warmer down here still pretty light though if you can notice that so a little bit darker here okay so A little bit darker but again this is first wash so not too dark okay and now I will try to leave a little bit of highlights on top of the lion here okay because if you look at the photo the highlight is on the top of the lion the light the sunlight is actually judging by the shadows probably like early afternoon or close to noon ish so most of the light is on the top which is actually not a bad lighting for this scenery so for the first one for things like these okay um even though a lot of time i say okay and yeah, let's have a little bit warmer color let's have a little bit cooler color still try to keep it as neutral as possible with just a little bit of variation you don't want the color to all of a sudden jump too much Keep in mind, first wash is usually very, very light and transparent. So going with very saturated color, unless you are sure that's what you want, 
don't do that okay so leave a little bit highlight on top of the the feet there so I'll paint that over and I'll mix add a little bit of burn umber so it's a little bit more neutral okay that feet so a little bit of that a little bit of highlight here now down here is the part that you can start to have a little bit of incidental highlight just for fun okay so I am not going to do like a hard edge just yet so I'm just going to do a clean water and just soften this soften this like so okay I don't want to give myself too much trouble for the first wash Again, first wash is light and atmosphere. So just light and atmosphere. Keep a wash nice, clean, and transparent. If you can leave a little bit of highlight like this, great. If not, don't stress about it. So take a look at our first wash here. Okay, that's just this is just that okay I have a little bit of turquoise color here and that's about it okay when it's dry it's gonna be like really subtle gradation and that's it so let's do that right because it's the furthest thing away from us so it can be pretty light and um, we can paint everything else over it so start with the furthest thing in the background there okay okay there we go so this is number 12 I can use a smaller brush but I choose not to I don't want to bog down by this the whole time so the pointy top of the building that's it okay now I'm starting to do Let's warm it up a little bit, a little bit more neutral. So uh, feels a little bit too cold here. Okay, so some stuff up on the rooftop and whatever chimney, something like that doesn't really matter. What matters is it has a little bit of interesting detail. And let's go. Let the brush flow okay here's that dome here just relax slow down finish that like so okay don't do this don't like okay I'm gonna make a perfect dome by doing that yeah, don't don't do that it's really not necessary try to practice to do minimum amount of brush stroke a little bit more turquoise here because of the rooftop whatever I know there's lightings in those buildings as well but we want to keep our shape simple okay now looks like those um, perspective line that I drew can use those as a little bit of guide to help me have a little bit suggestion of so I'll leave a little bit of white here what those are I don't know but it can kind of suggestive detail All right so maybe some structures of the balconies whatever and catching a little bit of light here and there really doesn't matter we just want some hints of detail but if you look at that we can give a little bit of soft details here and there so okay look at my make sure here okay it's a lot drier okay see those streaks it's a little bit drier so here's some actually can get it even drier Okay. it's quite wet that this wash here so give a little bit of tap here okay that looks looks nice we'll just 
don't do it everywhere a few places okay maybe top here one here okay a couple areas that you do see a little bit of things mostly suggest some windows stuff whatever here and there okay I really like how this part look so I'm not going to paint that out but to help this I will drop that dark underneath that highlight and that gives a very nice illusion of form so are these guys a little bit of dark against the light and the form turn darker warmer gray here okay down here so it's getting darker as it comes down here Okay. okay, I can actually bring this over onto the lion's head, it's fine, it's because the, the highlight is only about here, so I can bring this over, just grab some water, half dry brush, and I'll soften this a little bit, I feel this might be a little bit too dark, we want to push the depth just a little bit. All right, so let's start to do this guy. This guy, let's make it a, you know, a little bit more prominent here since it is closer to us. It's a big area, so just actually a little bit more water. So it flows a little bit better. Just, so just, 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 did, just do this, okay? Don't, this actually makes a little bit of, whoa. Well, I think this is, Copal turquoise pale or something. I don't don't really use it that much, but I think that roof color will benefit from this. So a little bit um, more muted turquoise color, and uh, let's mix a nice dark warm color here. Okay. And because this requires a little bit darker color. Okay, again, just a little suggestion. Oh, here's a flag pole, something. A little bit darker color here. Now, in the photo, it's a little bit more separated, but I'm afraid of too much separation inside of one building. So I'm just going to do this. Okay. It's so far into the edge, so just like whatever, a couple of shapes and we'll, we'll continue that down. This is some darker. Here we give a little hint of a cast shadow here, so at we'll least part leave this part a little bit lighter. But, but honestly, like I said, we don't want too much separation. So a little bit of separation here, and we can go over this can merge a little bit. It's I don't have a formula. I just feel like this is how it should be. So when you paint you might have a different approach and that's totally welcome on your part i actually need to make this a little bit drier like the bead is huge okay, a little bit darker here so that starting to separate here makes things a little bit faster here okay window i will leave a little bit of highlight on the top and uh, just okay have a little bit of volume I'll try not to get into that because I, I think it's gonna ruin that shape here so yeah so I'm not gonna paint into that shape okay let's continue on Okay, I think I'm being a little bit too careful. See how I'll spray a little bit. 
I need to break this up a little bit and it's a little bit too flat. So a little bit of spray will help. I'm not going to pre have all day so I'm going to paint a lot faster. It might get a little bit messy but here I think. Okay, just have a little bit of texture. I actually like that, so I'm not gonna touch touch here much. Uh, I'll leave some stripe of highlight because it has a little bit of structure there. So this is just a nice way to kind of suggest that. And uh, careful with the the lion's paw here. We want a little bit more highlight there. So but the rest of it. Okay, so I'll leave a little bit of highlight here some random highlight because there are a bunch of random people so some highlights whatever and uh, I've done it I'm gonna clean my brush I'm gonna dry it a little bit here and I'm just going to soften this most of that okay just let that edge kind of soften and just fade down here do this while it's still quite moist and again make sure you make sure it's it's wet it's dried enough okay if you use too much water it's only going to break the wash and uh, actually not going to look that good it's a little bit dark here uh, separate this all the details that I put in they are perceived detail okay it's not I'm not really doing by the photo okay the photo has this so I'm gonna paint that they're all perceived detail which means that all I do is hinting something big windows doorways whatever just okay so step back look at the painting as a whole and honestly guys this is this is the hardest part if you get this part right everything will fall into place you will know how dark you should go with the lion the people and this okay so like this guy here there's just a bunch of people so i'm just gonna put a bunch of heads in few more sophisticated looking figures I think we are good so this guy definitely is a big is an important figure here so I'll just do him first he's wearing blue the important thing is his gesture okay so a little bit to turning so get his shoulder in his chest going out like that that's the important part. The hand, the, the leg, this is not even matter that much. It's just the gesture of the figure. See, it looks like a piece kind of turning with his shoulder up and this one down a little bit. And the rest of it, we can just have a leg. I, didn't, I don't see the leg in the fo photos. I'll improvise. Uh, Give it a, pool, a, a little bit deeper here. Actually, I need to make him a little bit wider here. Here, there is arm. Okay, otherwise he doesn't feel like he has arm. So she. Okay, I'll try not to have them touch. Okay, this this little gap here will kind of avoid that bleed. Okay. Figures are hard to do. I'm if I'm being completely honest with you and it took me quite a bit of time to to really starting to get them decent <laughs> decent looking and it has a it, a lot of it has to do with um, your figure drawing so and when I say figure I don't mean like like nude figure or something I, it, it, although it will be great if you can have some life drawing experience but if you go to like coffee shop or something try to capture the gesture of the people those are the very important thing that you can actually improve your your figure quite a bit 
because of these figures that are a little bit more well defined so whatever you put on the back and if it's remotely close to what is representing in the front they will look like people okay so okay and uh, yeah, we're just gonna set loose on that there's a bunch of people's here people trash can whatever Okay, I only really need to make sure this part is dry because I want like a clear, um, like a clear line there, clear cut there. Okay, so let us work on this huge column here. Your lighting, things like that, but I'm gonna keep it down to the minimum. Okay, I need a little bit of control, so I will use a smaller brush. Actually, let me warm this up a little bit. It's a little bit too cool. So there's a little bit of cast shadow here. And then it gets a little bit more light here, but. So we have three values here, okay, the dark side, and then this side gets a little bit more light, but the wh whichever that is facing up get the most light. So I will have a little bit of value here that will keep the top bar, will keep the top part light. The figures are part of this shape anyway, so it's fine. I just paint over. They're dry enough to paint over anyways. And uh, okay. and here are the platform for the lion. Okay, here we we have our platform here. Now it seems a good time for me to establish some cast shadow. Um, this. The shadow is actually quite short because it's almost noon time, but I think I'll try to make it just a little bit longer to make it like to have it better for our for our painting. So there's some shadows from the figures here. And uh, so I'll keep this down here. And the shadow of our lion here is it's not in a photo. It's not. So I am, this is completely improvising, but here it just looks something like this. Okay, that's the head of the lion. Here, that's the paw. Here we go. At the, and there's, there's another sh shadow of the lion here. It's probably something, actually the shadow line here probably behind the platform here, so I'm not gonna do too much here. Everybody should kind of choose in the same direction. Okay, so just Okay, let me just actually make this part a little bit abstract. Yeah, I think that works out better. I don't know why I don't know why I do this But I just feel like I kind of off balance all this thing that's shooting out all right, now the moment we've all been waiting for the lion, but actually they are very, very easy to do. Just as long as you get nice, good shape, you are fine. Okay, so good, nice, warm, dark, turquoise color. So burn sienna, a bunch of um, neutral tin with some cobalt turquoise, and we got that nice bronze color. Let's do a test here. So dry, right? Make sure it's dry. We want really nice and hard shape here. Okay. What we were doing, we are just setting the stage for them, for them to shine. So. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of blue because I do see a little bit of blue shade there. So a little bit of blue, but. 
but again keep their value dark okay look at how strong this shape is okay this the nose here this should be pretty dark nose and the mouse here I should zoom in a little bit so we can see it better okay, I feel like I'm painting Lion King or something okay now the ones on the back um, they are actually the same value in the photo but I'll try to give him just a little bit of separations here because I don't I want the line to sort of distinct from each other so I'll give a little bit of gap first and then a little bit more water here and uh, uh, okay it's a little bit off here okay the eyes should be somewhere here and that's the nose okay so the mouse is here okay the lion's head here two to three things left to do so let's glaze this thing okay let's make this darker so it matches with the value of the lion or even the shadow too okay that's the first thing we're gonna do the second thing we are going to do is that big dark <coughs> plate on the column there so here we go okay too much water okay I'm taking it I'm using this giant brush to do the work because I'm because I don't want to take a small brush and dab it forever it's just gonna take too long and uh, there. Okay, so this lamp post helps to pop out from the crowd, and then this can just give us just you know a little bit more depths and a little bit more things to look at. So like a taller lamp post back here. Let me get this. Let me give this guy a little bit of hair here. Okay. Yeah, I need to give some guys hair, otherwise they're all bald. That would be kind of funny. Okay, I think this will be it. Rest of it, I will have to wait for it to dry. Here we go. Hope you guys like that. I am certainly pretty happy how it turns out. Consider, like, all things considered. 